Hi there! Okay, today I'm going to show you a video how to create a perfect basis. So when you're fair-haired like me and you have very light skin, what can you do best? Okay, I'm just, I'm going to show you how I do mine. Uh, and before I start, I'm just going to put in this nice hairband just to make sure that my hair doesn't really get greasy or anything because tonight we're going out we're just we're going to have some Japanese and I really look forward to it okay I'm going to wear something on my nails that's Aventure uh, 551 and that's just to to inform you and I'm going to wear the shade 20 from Yves Saint Laurent and I really I like the packaging already and it's a very it's um, some kind of orange coral shade on my mouth really love the shade as well okay what am I going to do I'm just I'm going to start concealing my face and also highlighting it at the same time already okay what can you do I'm, I'm using the makeup studio palette uh, to conceal my face and that's this one and I'm not going to show you the front because it's just black and you don't see here the name on it because I don't really have you know, all the daylight here but this is the palette it's look like, it looks like this and it really it works very nice and it's really the, the coverage is really perfect and you choose the, uh, the concealer that's almost twi uh, two, uh, tones sh uh, two shades lighter than your own skin. And for me that's really the lightest shade. And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit with the orange shade in the palette. Because I have a little bit of blueness here under the eyes. And the, the peach tone helps to cover up the blue tones in your skin. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it here under the eye and also over the eye because I want to layer, I want to have one layer of every product on my eyes before I'm just I'm going to put the actual eye makeup on it. So I'm going to work with concealer. And then after the concealer, I'm going to use uh, foundation. And I'm going to use foundation in two shades. And then after the foundation, I'm just going to fix the whole makeup with a powder. And actually with two powders as well. So I'm going to use a lighter shade for the parts of my face that I want to be light and stand out and I'm going to use the darker shade for the parts that I don't want to stand out okay, sometimes I'm going to look in the mirror just to make sure that I have a product everywhere okay and then I'm going to use the, the lightest uh, color of concealer and set from the palette I'm going to put it here a little bit under my brows here above the brows and then also here in the this little triangle above my nose so I'm already using the concealer a little bit as highlighter under my foundation so. like this a little bit of a itchy nose. I sometimes have that when I'm putting on makeup and my nose starts to tingle. Okay I'm going to put it down because you, as you can see my nose is a little bit red and I just want to put it here on the bridge and on the top of my nose. Then here my nostrils, also a little bit red around the nostrils. I just want to get rid of that redness like this and create a very good basis for my foundation. Make sure that it's evenly face okay. and then I'm also going to put a little bit here I have some blemishes over here 
over here. Then a little bit on the chin, your under, my under lip. like this and I also I also like to put it here on the upper lip and then here to contour my lips as well I don't have really nice like really fine lips so my lip line is a little bit vague and I believe this helps just to stand it out and fade it a little bit up upwards fade it out a little bit and sometimes I put on these lamps and sometimes I really need them and sometimes the light from outside gets really bright you have the sun and then I have a little bit of a little bit too much light here in the room forgive me for that it's a little bit hard still still winter and then you don't have that much daylight over here so I also want to avoid all the redness here around the nose and give this just something that I try to erase but I think it comes with the age the lines over here maybe I will do something about that with a plastic surgeon or Botox or something like that one day but not yet okay so this is the basis and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use two shades of foundation and I really I only discovered this uh, foundation this week and I believe that I'm normally using the uh, shade that's too actually too dark for my skin tone uh, for a foundation you have to look at the undertone of your skin so when it's pink uh, you better go for the pink toned uh, foundations and when it's yellow you better go for the yellow tone foundation well, this is really this is the lightest one that I could find find in the in the makeup store, and it's from Lancome. It's called uh, Sandy Do Ultra 24 Hours, and uh, for me, I've been cho choosing for shade uh, 10, and that's Beige Porcelain. And I'm going to use two shades of foundation. So I'm going to use this one, uh, and this one I'm going to apply around the eyes, uh, here on the forehead where I just uh, lightened it up. And um, here down on my on my um, on my chin, my cheeks, uh, and then I'm going to use a darker shade, which is actually from Chanel, and that is with a pink undertone because yeah, I am pink undertone, and that's the 22, the Vita Lumiere Aqua, and uh, this one I'm going to use for my forehead because as you can see, I, I've got an oval shaped head, so but I do have a broad. Uh, forehead it's it's kind of square and it's really high so I'm going to use it just to uh, visually shorten it and so I'm going to use it for the upper part and I was a little bit in doubt whereas I was going to use a darker shade even darker shade so that was a 32 but I think this will be dark enough and also with all the hair with your hairline I don't like it when it really gets too dark over here so just going to um, be applying it and I'm using my foundation brush and it can be any so this is really this is from my education but I also have one for Mac and uh, okay I'm just going to apply the product and make sure that you don't have too much on your brush so just get rid of the most of it and I'm then just going to apply it over or over my forehead and well, and then not really upwards, because I'm going to apply the darker one later here. So I'm just going to do it like this. And then all the way down here. And I'm leaving the parts here with my hair, because I'm just I'm doing that uh, at a later stage with, uh, with uh, the product that's left on my brush. I'm going to apply it here uh, um, uh, in my hair because otherwise you, you have a lot of product and you're just brushing it in your hair and it gets all greasy and it doesn't really look nice. Okay, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to apply it over the eyelids as well. 
because I want to have one layer of every product before I'm going to start applying my eye makeup. So I have concealer and this is the second layer which is foundation and then I'm just going to finish the total basis with powder and I'm also going to use powder in two shades so I'm going to lighten up the, uh, the parts which I've just highlighted with a lighter powder and I'm going to put the darker powder on the parts of my face that I don't want to be standing out that much okay so putting it here all down the upper lip and then over my jaws this is the remainder of product so also I don't take a lot of new product on my brush because I don't want here I don't want to have too much product here in my neck okay then here also and don't forget your ears here at your ears okay so and then I'm going to use a set the darker shade and I'm just going to put it on my palette over here there isn't really a lot of color difference I said I don't want to have a very orange or very uh, too dark uh, face I'm just going to use it up here and as you can see it's it's slightly darker and I'm going to put it here all down need a little bit more of that because I also want to apply it here under my cheeks, cheeks just to give them a little bit more definition and so I'm also going to use the Vita Lumiere under my cheekbones only need a very very little of this product and um, yeah I also like the Vita Lumiere a lot because it's a very sheer product and especially in summer I like it because it's just a very light layer that you have on your skin not a really uh, covering foundation so it's just it's nice just to have that extra layer and not a full face makeup okay I'm just I'm going to apply it here from here so and try to blend it in very nicely because it's really it's a no-go just if you see stripes on your face so it shouldn't be like like a very visible stripe or anything you should blend it in very nicely it should all be very subtle okay so also on the other side it's 30 minutes already I should try to work a little bit faster but I want to I want to show you very well how I'm doing it so and I just want to put a little bit here the bottom of my chin because I think it's a little bit long and I want to so I've highlighted it over here and then I'm just putting it a little bit darker over here and as you can see in the light already you see that this really gets I highlight it really really nicely also here under my eyebrows and you see a little bit over here this is this is really the lighter part of my face and then the rest of it so you, you see that this gets a little bit to the to the back I'm just putting the remainder of product over here because I believe maybe I could have used the darker shade over here but I'm also going to fix it with the darker powder so I want to put it a little bit over here because I also feel like this is this is a lot of skin huh, over here so I wish I was born with a 
smaller for it. But you can do a lot with makeup as well. Okay, well, I believe this is the perfect basis, and uh, then I just have to finish it off with the powder. And for the uh, for the powder, I'm using Mac powders, and I'm using the uh, mineralized powders, mineralized skin finish, and I'm using the medium and uh, the dark one. So this is dark, and I'm using them with a powder brush. And could be as well, could be any as well. So, and I'm just, I'm going to start dapping the lighter one on the places of my face, which I've also highlighted. So on the forehead, here just above my nose, over my eyes. down to the chin, under the parts where I've just used a darker shade, I really get annoyed of all those hairs that fall out of my brush and I don't have that with my MAC um, brushes but this is what came with the, um, with the make makeup artist training that I'm doing at the moment. So this is really what I'm doing with the lighter powder. And then I'm going to use the darker shade, so that's the dark shade. Really I have to tap off my brush very carefully because this is quite a dark shade for my skin tone. And then I'm just going to brush it over the darker parts. And I just did with the darker Chanel foundation. And if I look in the mirror, I really, I like it already a lot. I really like this, uh, this basis. And I'm also using it here, same thing again, under my chin. And I have to blend it out really well later on because right now it looks a little bit ridiculous. And I'm going to use it here under the cheekbones. So, and I'm moving it up. So I'm starting over here. And I'm making circles, circles movement, and then here up again, other side again, okay, and I really like this, and then the only the last step that you have to take, oh, and we're already on 90 minutes again. But again, I want to show you very carefully, is use your polishing brush. And this is really, really uh, necessary to use because otherwise the powder really rests on your face. And this is really uh, working the product very nicely into your face. So really polishing it. And then you have to use it. You have to make circles in the same direction as your little hairs grow because otherwise you just make the hairs stand up okay work it in the skin and also here down here I'm just going to use a little bit more light because I think that the dark has gone too high. Down here. Okay. Oh, and I'm really I'm satisfied. I like this basis. And I just take off this hairband because I think that most of the time you just see everything better if you don't wear something like this. Okay, so this is the basis and I'm just, I'm going to finish off the makeup in another video. But um, this is it and I hope I helped you. I like it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.